Hello everyone. Well, we're also again late this day. So instead of having the good morning tarot, we will have a tarot break. So welcome to our tarot break. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at this time of the day. Okay, we have here the King of Swords. Okay, good boundaries. Okay, now it's... Uh, what comes to me right now is for some of you, you are given a certain... Uh, a certain authority or a certain position of leadership now uh, protect yourself from over familiarity okay because uh, <laughs> there's a saying over familiarity can breed contempt okay so uh, maintain good boundaries with your staff it's good also that you are in good relationship with them but maintain a certain boundary also where they still are able to maintain the respect to your position it's uh, it's the position that they give um, deference to so that there will be order in the organization it's not the person okay so they can still be close to you while at the same time when it is work they respect also your command responsibility that way it's easy for the team to work together so having good boundaries we're in they can approach you and they feel happy working with you but at the same time also uh, there is that respect for the position that you are holding so that there will be easier uh, easier work or easier working relationships in your area so that's the thing that is very important now it's also good to have good boundaries right now that is uh, spending more time don't lose you know how it is sometimes when we work, the work takes up almost the whole, the whole of our day. We need to have time for ourselves also. Why? Because at this moment, you are also going to undergo or for some of you, you are already undergoing transformation. So at this moment, you need also some boundaries because many of you will be undergoing transformation. And for the transformation process to go on smoothly, we need to have some time alone. So we need to give ourselves some time alone every once in a while, especially a walk in nature or being amidst nature or in a silent place, so that the transformation process can also uh, go through smoothly. So for some of you, aside from the leadership role, some of you are also undergoing transformation and you need some space in order to listen to the lessons that are being given to you at this moment. So spending more time alone, spending more time in a receptive mode will also be beneficial for you. Especially that this transformation process is something new to you. Every transformation process we undergo brings us something new. And it's a mystery that is unraveling before us. Every transformation is a mystery that is unraveling before us. Just like the, the, the moon that is here. You see, only a very small portion of the moon can be seen. The rest is still unseen. So in a, in a certain sense, the transformation process is an unfolding process. So you need to be attentive. You need to be receptive also. Something about being close to nature will help facilitate your transformation. So aside from having good boundaries, it's good also to spend more time alone, especially if you feel that you are being drawn towards solitude by the divine. It's like Yahweh bringing Israel into the desert. You know, in the Old Testament, uh, I think in the book of the prophet Hosea, I'm not sure, I think it's, it's there, uh, wherein Yahweh brings Israel into the desert in order to teach her again on how to love the divine. So in a certain sense, it's like that. Uh, 
some of us or a big portion of us who are watching this video are being led into the desert so that the divine can teach us more about our spiritual journey. Now let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, <clears throat> so part of the transformation process is the reassessment of the progress of the work we are doing. So here, yeah, you have that king of swords. It means you are leading a group of people into accomplishing something. Now, every once in a while, you need to take a pause to assess the situation and maybe also to gauge the strengths of those who are part of your team. That is what is coming to me right now. So if you are working with a team, it is important for you to take a pause, analyze the progress you've made, analyze the strengths of each members of the team, analyze in which aspects of the project they can contribute to the full. So you need to take a pause and we analyze your situation so that you will continue to have good results. You already have good results with the Seven of Pentacles, but you need to take momentary pauses so that it will continue. You can assess it and you will continue to improve the situation. Now, what is the advice of the universe for us? Okay, for some of you, you will have to go on a journey. You will have to travel. It can be in the near future. It can be now. No, so it can be also that this six of swords can be can symbolize the transformation process you are undergoing which is also an interior journey but for some of you yes you will be traveling it can be that today you already traveled and you you went to another place and it has been beneficial for you you see here these people are in sorrow and they are being led out to another place presumably so that they will be happier so in a certain sense uh, going on a short trip or a short journey might be beneficial for you. It can be just as simple as walking out into the garden and it can be beneficial for you. It can change your outlook from maybe being gloomy or being depressed or being anxious. Sometimes a short journey of a few steps to your garden can already mean a big difference. It can lighten your spirit it can change your disposition. Uh, it can even remove some anxieties that you might have right now as you are sort of analyzing your life situation or analyzing, analyzing your project or your career. So for some of you, a short journey, a little far or a little off from the usual place where you work will be beneficial so in a certain sense but for some of you part of the work will be going to another place so just take what resonates with you let us now go to the oracle reading Okay, let's try to see what is the oracle card for today. Underneath one, Wailing Tree, Reconciliations, okay. And Many Masks, The Authentic Self, okay. Um, reconciliations. Yeah, maybe part of the things that you need to, to fix or arrange is Maybe there has been in the recent past some misunderstandings or some argument or some conflict or maybe you misjudge a certain situation and it has led to somebody getting hurt. Maybe there's a need for you to yeah, be reconciled with them. Uh, here with the King of Swords you see he has good boundaries, he's able to say no, but at the same time he is receptive, there's a veil behind him so he is open also to to analyze the situation now try to analyze it well sometimes you need to be firm up to a certain point so in a certain sense yeah but you are firm not in a subjective way not in a 
you know how it is when you are strict but there is, it is a little bit subjective it's more of being strict in an objective way wherein it is for the good of everyone concerned and actually the strictness or uh, the reminders that you might be giving is for the benefit also of the person's concern so in a certain sense if it is that way then all you need to do is to let them realize that it was it is not personal that it is intended for their good and also for the good of those who are concerned in that area so the reconciliation is yeah it can be learning to just explain to people if you are the king of swords and you were a little bit firm in the workplace you need also to be firm in an objective way not in a subjective way and to be able to explain to them the reason behind such firmness in in resolve when they know the reason behind and when they know that it is for their benefit then it is easy for reconciliation to occur so in a certain sense reconciliations also can be clearing up certain misunderstandings uh, part of the leadership role sometimes needs requires you to be firm but at the same time also when when the situation is already ripe you can also explain to them the reason behind such treatment or such decisions. Now, at the same time also, it's good to be honest, to be who you truly are, especially if you are already analyzing the situation. When you are honest also with the people who are working with you, when they know the reason behind such decisions or such actions, when you are honest with them, there are no hidden agendas in your dialogue with other people then it's easier for you to get things done because people learn to trust you and people know that it is their benefit that is in your intentions you have their you have the good intentions towards them okay you have good intentions towards them it is their welfare that you are caring for so in a certain sense it's like this person he is rowing the boat for everyone concerned and he has to explain he has to make sure that they are able to make it through the other side and to lessen also the anxieties that are there you see the person who is leading is not affected by the anxiety it is often those whom you are leading that are filled with anxiety maybe it's because sometimes you need to yeah be firm now as far as possible if you can lessen that anxiety then the journey will be better now honesty but at the same time firmness when they understand that when you explain the reason behind uh, such firmness then it's easy for the whole team to move forward so yeah you need to take a pause and analyze every once in a while your situation analyze the way you deal with those entrusted to you and also to try to see where you need to explain things and where you need to be firm. So, yeah, just be honest and at the same time be open always to reconcile, uh, to be open to bury the hatchet when there's a need to bury the hatchet and at the same time be open to receive people for reconciliation. Or if you need to extend that reconciliatory hand, then do so. With uh, that balanced treatment of your staff, things will work out much better. I am drawn to the number eight. So number eight seems to be very important. Actually, we have here seven, eight, nine. Okay. And there's six here. And there's five. Oh, quite interesting, these numbers. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you were able to benefit from our reading. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.